You are setting goals in your business or your personal life. You know what's going to move the needle, but you still find yourself procrastinating. You're not focusing on the right tasks. You're looking for the motivation or drive, and once you get that motivation, then you'll get started. But honestly, how long have you been waiting for this right time in your business or even in your personal life? In today's podcast episode, I'm walking you through a series of questions to find out what one thing you're putting off in your business, the one thing that you know will help you be successful. We're going to dig into the reasons behind your actions, and by the end of this episode, you'll have a good understanding of what you need to do next. Whether you're starting a business or side hustle, you're a self-employed individual, a solopreneur, entrepreneur, mompreneur, freelancer, business owner, bookkeeper, or virtual assistant. It's time for you to stop putting everything before what you really need to get done so that you can start seeing the success that you want to achieve in your business and your personal life. If you're a business owner who wants to take your business to the next level, whether you're starting a business, you're building your business, or you're serious about growing your business, I want to invite you to work with me so that you can meet your goals in the most accelerated, streamlined, and efficient way possible. That also aligns with your life and the impact that you want to make with your business. As a CPA, business strategist, and coach, I've created two options for you to choose from when you work with me. The first is my Mastering Your Small Business Finances Profit Lab. This is a group program where we have live weekly business meetings and coaching sessions to answer your questions so that you can generate revenues and increase the profit in your business. You can learn more about the Profit Lab by going to financialadventure.com slash profit. Or, if you like the idea of working with me on a more private, one-on-one basis, you can schedule a free consultation session where we'll go over where you currently are in your business and where you'd like to see yourself and your business in the future. During this session, we'll begin to map out the steps you need to take to achieve your goals. I'm helping my clients start their businesses, become more profitable, set strategies to move their business forward, and take control of their business and their finances while allowing them the balance and ability to enjoy their personal lives by utilizing business strategy, coaching, mentorship, and support. You can schedule your session today by going to financialadventure.com and clicking on the Work With Me button. By taking action in your business, you'll achieve your goals. By keeping everything simple, you'll avoid confusion and overwhelm. You'll understand your business finances, your next steps, and you'll follow through with the vision that you have for your business. My goal is to help you dream big, follow your heart, and love what you do. You're listening to the Mastering Your Small Business Finances podcast, where we get straight to the point on topics that ultimately affect your bottom line. That's right, as an entrepreneur with a small business, money management, growth, marketing, they all affect your bottom line. I'm your host, Chris Ponick. I'm a certified public accountant, and I've been helping small business owners like you navigate and easily understand these complicated topics for over 25 years. I'm a wife, a mom, a grandmother, and a small business owner myself, so I know your time is valuable. In my free time, I make the best sugar cookies and have mastered an amazing chocolate chip cookie recipe. And that's not just my opinion. You're in the right place. I promise your time will be well spent here. Each week you'll gain confidence and clarity while making a successful impact on your business and grow your bottom line. Get comfy, grab a cookie, and let's get straight to the point with this week's episode. Welcome back. When I'm working with my private one-on-one clients, we look at their goals and together we make sure that the tasks that they're working on align with what needs to get done so that they can achieve their goals. When you're working by yourself, it can be easy to put things off 
or find yourself veering off the path that would lead you to success. And when I hold my clients accountable, they get things done. They get the right things done and they reach their goals. Today, I want to ask you what is the one thing that you're putting off in your business or your personal life? Think about this for a minute. We all have our to-do lists, and there are always things that we know we need to get done, but yet we fill our time by distracting ourselves with the tasks other than the important ones, the ones we know we really need to work on. You might find that you're focusing on low-priority tasks, or you find that you're helping others and doing things for other people before doing your own work. Maybe you're waiting for the perfect time, or you know you have more time before a deadline you've set, so you push tasks off even longer. If you're setting what you need to get done on the back burner, and you know you need to do it, you are avoiding it for one reason or another. You are procrastinating. It's okay. It's okay that you've done this in the past, but starting today, starting right now, you're going to find that one thing that you're putting off in your business or your personal life, and you're going to be fully aware that you've been putting it off. So how do you know what it is that you've been putting off? I know many of you are already aware of what you've been putting off, but if you don't already know, you can start by looking at your goals. If you've been listening to this podcast for a while, you know I'm a firm believer in setting goals as well as each of the tasks that you need to do to achieve your goal. You can look back on the Mastering Your Small Business Finances podcast at prior episodes on goals if you want to start doing this for yourself. Each of my clients sets their goals, and they know exactly how they're going to reach their goals. Many even know how long it's going to take them to get there since they schedule their work and they know up front when and how they will get it all done. They know that as long as they stick to their original plans, they will reach their goal. And of course, I'm there to help hold them accountable and keep them on track. If you struggle with accountability and you're looking for someone to help you reach your goals, let's talk. I'd love to work with you so that you can reach your goals as well. Another way that you can be aware of that one thing that you're putting off in your business or your personal life is to look at your to-do list. Is there anything on your list that you know will move the needle, but you just keep disregarding it? Could it be your website, social media, a new product or service, starting a podcast, getting your business started, or even marketing your business? Now that you're aware or have a good idea of what you're putting off in your business or your personal life, I want you to ask yourself why you're putting it off. If it is truly something that will help you achieve your goals, why would you put it off? Well, I know there are many reasons, so I'm going to cover a few of them today. And as I talk about each one, I want you to take some time to see if any of these reasons resonate with you. Let's start with the possibility that you're feeling more guilt for not doing it already. You might be feeling shame for not doing what you decided to do, Maybe you're stressed knowing you need to do it, or you are frustrated with exactly how you need to get started on it. Are you afraid you're not good enough, or you won't do it perfectly so you don't even get started? I'm just going to mention one of my favorite sayings here, which may help you because it's helped me many times. Have you ever heard that done is better than perfect? I want you to know that if you have a perfectionist tendency, knowing that you can go ahead and do it the first time and you can always go back to make improvements is perfectly fine. You can make changes from your 1.0 version to your 2.0 version. As long as you get started with something, you can always make improvements to it. Do you honestly think that the successful people out there always started out with their best version? No, they start out with their first version and they continue to make improvements to it. I often work with clients who have a fear of failure, 
which means that they're afraid they won't succeed like they originally planned. But I also have clients who have a fear of success. This is when they're afraid they won't be able to meet the expectations when they succeed. What is the reason that you've been putting off this task that you know will help you succeed? Now, I want you to decide ahead of time that this task is worth doing. I want you to determine when you will do it, even if it's a more significant project that's going to take you some time to get it done. When you decide in advance and schedule when you will work on this task, you need to stick to your plan. Don't let anything take over the time that you are devoting to this task. I want you to stop procrastinating and stop deciding to put other tasks ahead of it even if they're more enjoyable or easier to tackle. You know what you've been putting off. You know it needs to get done. And you are going to make sure that you are diving into that one thing that you've been putting off, even if you don't feel like doing it. I want you to embrace the discomfort that you feel and do it anyway. It is important to you. I want you to do it even when you don't have the motivation or the inspiration. I want you to change the way you're thinking about it. If you've been thinking in the past that this is something that you have to do, think about why you want to do it or why you're choosing to do it. This alone may make it easier for you to move forward with it. And while you're at it, what if your thought was that it would just be easy? Start by scheduling a short time each day or each week to take on the task. Lastly, Think about your future. When you have this task done, how happy will you be when it is done? How much pressure will you have lifted off your shoulders? How will it impact your business or your personal life? If you need help getting started and you're ready to find out how I can help you stop putting everything else before what you really want to accomplish, sign up for one of my free consultation sessions. You can go to financialadventure.com and click on the Work With Me button. I'm looking forward to meeting with you soon. We'll dig even deeper to find out what's holding you back in not only your business, but your personal life as well. We'll work together to create your best work-life balance. I'm ready to work with you and see all of your success. I'll post links to this and other valuable resources for business owners and accountants where you're listening to this podcast. And you know I'm going to ask, what's at least one thing that you'll take away from this episode that will help your business succeed and grow your bottom line? If you need some accountability, join our private Facebook community and post your action item. We'd love to support you. Thanks for taking the time to tune into this episode of Mastering Your Small Business Finances. If you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed creating it for you, I'd love for you to give it a five-star rating and subscribe to the show so you never miss an episode. Visit financialadventure.com for the show notes, links from this episode, and while you're there, leave a comment if you have a topic you're interested in learning more about that affects your bottom line. If you're looking for a community where you can ask questions and get feedback about your small business, join my private Facebook group. You can find the links to this group and more on financialadventure.com. And remember, any financial information shared on this podcast is not to be considered professional, financial, or tax advice and should not be solely relied upon. Please consult your CPA or tax advisor for an opinion on your specific circumstances. I'm looking forward to having you tune in next time. Until then, dream big, follow your heart, and love what you do. Thank you.